In this video, I'm going to show you five ways that you can transfer files from your Android phone to your Windows laptop. So the first method is going to be using a USB cable and then the other four are all going to be wireless. So let's get started. The first method is using a USB cable and the biggest advantage is that you can transfer large files so even if it goes up to 1 to 2 GB that can easily be transferred in a couple of minutes. So now I'll show you how it works. So first you'll just have to connect your phone and laptop using the USB cable. So just use your phone's charger to connect it to your laptop. Then on your phone, you'll have to swipe down and go to the notification panel. And then you'll see a notification that's related to USB. So just click on that. And over here, under use USB 4, you'll have to select transferring files. And this is the most important step. Once you're on your laptop, you'll have to just open the file explorer. After that, you'll have to go to this PC. So you'll find it written on the left over here. Then under devices and drives, you'll find your phone. After that, based on where the file is stored, select internal storage or SD card. And over here, you'll have to locate your file. So if you don't know where it is, you could just search on the top right over here. Or usually, documents are either in the documents folder or in the download folder. So for right now, I'll just transfer this file, which is called test file. And if you want to transfer more than one file, you can just select them. So once they're selected, just copy them by clicking on control C. And after that, you'll just have to paste it in your laptop. So for now, I'll save it on my desktop. So I'll go to desktop on the top left. And then I'll just click on Control V to paste it. And over here, as you can see, the file has come here. The second method is using Google Drive. But this method has a disadvantage that because it uses Wi-Fi for the transfer, if you want to transfer large files, then it may take a lot more time based on your Wi-Fi speed. So that's one thing which you'll have to keep in mind. So first, on your phone, you'll just have to go to Google Drive. And if you don't have the app, you'll have to install it from the Play Store. Make sure that you've signed in with the same account as that on your laptop. After that, just click on the plus button on the bottom right. And then click on upload. Select whichever files that you want to upload. And again, you can select more than one. So I'll just select the same file. And then click on select. And now it's getting uploaded. Now I'll just go to my laptop and show you the next step. On my laptop, I've opened Google Drive and now I'll just have to go to the Recent tab, which is over here. And here on the top, you'll find the file which you uploaded from your phone. And to save it, you'll just have to click on it. Then click on the three dots over here and click on Download. And now you can save it on your laptop. The third way is by using AirDroid. So this is a third party app which helps you transfer files from your phone to your laptop. So again, it uses Wi-Fi for the transfer, but overall it's a lot more convenient than Google Drive. To transfer files using AirDroid, you'll first have to go to your browser and just search for AirDroid. Then you'll have to click on the first link, that's to login. After that, you'll have to click on create an account. Then over here, just enter your email ID and your password, and then you'll have to verify it. So once you've signed in on your laptop, just go to the home page. And here under personal, there'll be a link to download AirDroid. So now I'll just click on download now. Once it's downloaded, you'll just have to set it up. So click on next. And I agree. And now install it. Then over here, just enter your email ID and password which you'd entered earlier. And now we've finished signing in on our laptop. So now just go to your phone and then you'll have to install the app called AirDroid. So you'll find this app on the Play Store and this is how it looks. Once it's installed, just open it. Over here, I'll just have to click on sign in and then just enter the email ID and password which you entered on your laptop. So now you'll have to go to the tools page which is at the bottom. And then you'll have to select files. Then in files, you'll have to locate your file. 
So based on where it's stored, just go over there. And now again, I'll just select this test file. And then at the bottom, you'll have an option to share it. So just click on share. Then select AirDroid. And over here, you'll find your computer. So just click on it. And now it's sent. And here, as you can see on my laptop, if I just click on my phone, then from here, I can download this file. So the process to create an account on your laptop and on your phone may take time, but once they're connected, it's extremely simple to transfer files. Now the fourth method is using Bluetooth. So if you're in a situation where you can't find a cable or don't have Wi-Fi or anything like that, then this method will be handy. So transfer via Bluetooth may take a bit more time, but I'll show you how it works. First, you'll just have to make sure that your phone and laptop are connected via Bluetooth. Then on your phone, you'll have to go to the file which you'll want to transfer. So now I'll just go to that. And here as you can see, I found the file called test file. So now I'll just long press on it. After that, I'll click on share, which is written at the bottom in the center. And here as you can see, there's an option called Bluetooth. And now if I just click on it, here I'll just have to select the device who I'll want to send it to. So I'll select my laptop and now it'll get sent. And now the fifth and last method is via email. And this is pretty simple. So all you'll have to do is email yourself attaching whatever you want to transfer. And then what you can do is just go to your laptop, log into your email and then download it. But there's one disadvantage of this method, that an email has a size limit. So if you want to send a large file, then you can use the Google Drive method, because both are similar, but in Google Drive, there's no size limit. And if you want to know how to use your phone as a webcam, then you can check out this video over here. Goodbye.